me get all my stuff out of the way. What's up, everybody? <laughs> it's another episode. <laughs> Just throwing books because I'm so angry and so happy that the end of... Oh, whoa. Calm down over there. Two can play that game. It's the season finale of The Boys, and we said we'd be back, and we're back. And I only have enough energy to talk about this episode. So if you've only seen our first video and the, this one, you missed a lot. <laughs> it's a crazy episode, and I'm sad the season was only eight episodes. Yeah, long. it. this did not feel like the end. It felt almost like the first episode of like the last two episodes. But I just want to go back for a second. I always said we weren't going to talk about much, but we have to talk about how the last episode ended when you know they think they've got Vaught. They're about to, like, someone's about to uh, testify before a very small Senate committee, it looks like. I've never seen a, 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 a committee meeting look like that, but uh, it's about to all break, and then heads start exploding. I mean, like... Literally. <laughs> and, and not just, and not just like, the, the people who are about to testify or the lawmakers, um, the other speedster, A-Train's kind of uh, rival, his head explodes. Other Vought people's head, heads explode. You're like, what is happening? And that's how it ends. And then now we're left with this. They are, they're, like, kind of hopeless. They have nowhere else to turn. And so they're just like, we're going to kill these, the, yeah. all the superheroes. This is going to be a spoiler-heavy episode. We're not going to waste all your time. We're, yeah. we're going to get in, get out. We're going to talk about the things we want to talk about when we get out because we have to work today. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. She's good. We'll just – I'll do that. Right? All right. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. You're talking about the last episode of The Boys that I am way too young to watch? I need to be there. We find out Stormfront is a Nazi, and then she gets beat up. And I got to say, there's nothing more satisfying – to watch than watching a Nazi get beat up. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. What I love is that it wasn't just like superhero unrealistic beating up. I mean, they like straight up beat her up. I mean, as realistic as possible. Yeah. It, just, it made it even a little sweeter. And it's what's crazy is her defense is the sort of things we hear in real life. Yeah. When she said white genocide, all I could think about was the, the, the billboard in Harrison, Arkansas. Yeah, when she said those two words, you're just like, Ugh. you're just like, gross, yeah. get out of here. <laughs> you know, and even Homelander, like, that's a moment where Homelander's even like, they do a great job of just making her the worst. Yeah. I mean, like, already she's the worst, but then they're like, let's just pile on. And <laughs> so, yeah, when she gets her, like, like, when they beat her up, you're like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and, then when, and then she got Darth vader <laughs> Gross. And she's still alive. That's what's even crazier about yeah. it. Yeah, she came to say I was right. I was right about A Train. Now, does he do it to to you know gain something? Yes. It's like a lawful neutral kind of thing. Yes. Not only does he kind of join the collective, he also helps the the boys, like I said, but just yeah. to again, not just to because he's a good person, he just wants in the seven. But a little bit that he's like, I hate Nazis. And you're like, I can't, I can't like fault yeah, him for that. I wish we would have gotten a little bit more of him. But, you know, like, yeah. like you, you know, we talked about his kind of, uh, his upbringing and the way that he, you know, like that he's someone who didn't, wasn't fortunate growing up. So I, I hope that maybe we dive into that a little bit more in the next season. Um, but it was nice. And you think that like the Deep's going to get like come up in two, but he's, they're just like, sorry, Deep. <laughs> just in the last few episodes has really made this turn of he, you know, he obviously doesn't want Ryan, you know, when he gets his wife back. Mm -hmm. uh, he's obviously just, mm -hmm. he's obviously just like, uh, he, he just wants to take down like Vaught. And now he's a dude who cares for people. He has connections, you know, to Huey and the other boys a little bit, but also, you know, Ryan that he is, you know, promised to protect. Yeah. So that's a, I love Carl Urban. I think he does a fantastic job. It's clear he had like issues stemming from his brother dying. And so it's finally taking him years, years, lots of years to get over that. And like meeting Huey and MM and Frenchie and um, everybody else, it sort of gave him his heart again. And he, yeah. 
once he got his wife back too, it was like momentarily, yeah. momentarily got his wife back. And then we find out that the congresswoman has been blowing heads. She's been Dude. blowing heads off. A character that we didn't, I don't think she was even in any of the, she might have been briefly in the first three episodes, so we didn't get to see her much. This is also the person who, who you have to think retrospectively too, like murdered that FBI agent, you know, mm-hmm. that, uh, that they were friends with. And so, and she's talking to the guy who runs the collective. He's like, give me some tax breaks and I'll give you all the soup info. And then his head explodes. And then she's outside and you're like, wait, what? So she was blowing people's heads up yeah. as she was like, she was in that room when all the stuff happened. The Boys is one of those shows on the surface where it's just fun to watch. But at the same time, it's also got, it's just packed full of social commentary. Yeah. Uh, it's got like social criticisms. It's got these heavy things that they're, it's talking about. There are moments of this season that just are in your face with that kind of, like in a good way. You're like, there's, there's pictures of like Homelander with a Confederate flag instead of a regular flag. And there's a whole scene about, you know, not trusting like other, like just being scared, uh, you know, of terrorists, of these like other people that you don't know. It's just like, it's just, it's, it is. I think it's the most like in your face, like, yeah, TV show that's doing that right now. That's the thing. It's, that's the caveat. Is like, if you don't like brutal, brutal, absolutely brutal violence, you're not gonna like the show. But at the same time, it's like once you start watching it and realizing like the political and social commentary it's doing and it's what it's saying about society, American society is very prescient, and it's like must watch. Like, yeah. I know a lot of people don't like violence when they're watching stuff, but you got to watch the show if you're not already watching it. But yeah, so lots of questions. Nazis suck. That's what we learned from season two. I mean, it's not yep. anything that's new to be said, but with the rise of like these neo-Nazis coming back, it's like, you have to say it again. It's like, Nazis suck. 